Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Butterscotch.com five-part series on a sneak peek at Google Voice. Now in this segment, we're going to look at groups. And groups is a cool feature in Google Voice that gives you functionality that I don't believe you can find on any regular phone system. You can take all of your contacts. I pulled mine in from Gmail and put them into groups that you can create. Create as many groups as you want. You can even create a group of one. I have family, co-workers, SIAF board, my colleagues at Butterscotch are in a group by themselves. And you'll see here as you put in phones, you can give them names so that you know what the phone is or where the phone is. You could have like kitchen. I have two cell phones here. One I left called mobile. The other one is called Verizon. So if I wanted, I could have it so that when my family calls, it always rings only my Verizon phone. And when my butterscotch friends call, it always just rings my mobile phone. If you have five phones set up, you could have it so that different groups would always ring different phones. So you'd know instantly if the mobile phone rings that it's somebody from Butterscotch. Another cool feature that I'll discuss in another segment is greetings. Because you could also record a unique greeting for each group. So my family hears a different greeting than co-workers or the SIF board, or my friends at Gutter Butterscotch. So, this is a cool function of Google Voice. It makes it possible for you to manipulate things. You can have a group with just your spouse in it and leave a special message that only they hear. This is Groups, a cool feature in Google Voice. Remember that this is a multiple part series. and Be sure to listen to all five parts.